Hello, this is Eric at FlexPVC.com. Today I have a video for you. I pray that it goes well because <laughs> it's been a real challenge to get this one out. Okay, what we're doing now is telescoping pipe. Everybody wants to know what pipe will telescope in other pipes. Unfortunately, when people say telescope, they mean one of two things. What pipe will fit into another pipe or what pipe will fit that I can move in and out and lock in position. All right. This video is going to do both of them, but not both of them at once. You'll see why in just a minute. I'm going to start with the smallest stuff. You're going to want to probably take notes. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it as short as I can, but we have a lot of combinations for you. All right. Uh, here we go. This is the first one. What we have here is any half inch, schedule 40, class 200, any of the half inch, thin wall, furniture grade, doesn't matter, as long as it's IPS size, not CTS, will go into uh, CL 200 three quarter inch. Okay, so that I'm going to put it here. We got them labeled. That's three quarter inch thin wall CL 200. All right, so any of the half inch will go in here. And you can see it rattles a little bit. I will attempt to hold this for the camera. Okay, move back here. Okay, uh, so that's the first one. Uh, next one here. Well, we've got this is a pretty good fit. This is 3 8. Again, it could be schedule 80, could be schedule 40, doesn't matter. 3 8 will go into half inch CL315. CL315 is the thinnest, uh, yeah, it's the thinnest half inch pipe. We do have half inch thin wall, which I don't think it's here. Let me see if I can find it here. Nope, that's three quarters. They're missing something. Oy. Okay, I'm going to assume for a second that the half inch thin wall is equivalent to the CL315. The 3 8 fits in it pretty well. I will do it like this so you can see. Uh, it rattles a little bit. I'm disappointed that I don't have the half inch uh, thin wall pipe. It should be here. For some reason we forgot that. Okay. But I think it'll fit. I'll update the uh, description to let you know if it does or not. Okay. Next one is, this is a real good fit here. This is three quarter inch CTS. Three quarter inch CTS. Going into three quarter thin wall furniture grade. You can see it fits pretty darn well. Slides in and out very easily. Okay. So that's three quarter inch CTS. This is copper tube size. It's usually an almond color. This one is got the yellow stripe on it. I don't have any that has the strong almond color, but they usually, it's a strong almond color. Into three quarter inch thin wall furniture grade. Will not go into schedule 40, okay? Next one. This is one inch CL200, and any of the three quarters will go into it. This is schedule 40, you could do schedule 80, you could do CL200, doesn't matter. As long as you start with CL200 or Thin wall furniture grade, because these two are almost identical. I can hold it here, almost identical. So you've got uh, CL200 and you've got thin wall furniture grade. Both of these are going to be exact same outside, and the inside looks nearly identical. And so pretty much anything will go into it. Schedule 40 goes into the thin wall furniture grade, goes into the CL200. Here's another piece, same stuff. These are schedule 40 thin wall. Oh, it's <laughs> sorry, schedule 40 three quarter inch. Okay. So I go there. All right. Next up, uh, three quarter inch CTS will go into one inch schedule forty. Okay, three quarter CTS. That's copper tube size. That's the almond color. Will go into schedule forty one inch. All right. Next, we have one inch schedule forty, schedule eighty. Doesn't matter. One inch. Any of the IPS pipe size will go into inch and a quarter. Uh, class 200 okay it's a loose fit it's a loose fit but it goes in pretty well this is one that might be important for you you'll see why at the end next one here we go this is a three-way okay we got three going into each other as you get bigger it is easier okay so what we've got here is half inch schedule 40 we'll go into two inch schedule 40 a little bit of a loose fit and then the two inch schedule 40 will of course go into two and a half schedule 40. Okay, so here's your end, what it looks like on the end. So you got three. 
All right. Now we've got this one. Okay. So this is a four. This is a four banger, so to speak. Three inch schedule 40. Two and a half schedule 40. Two inch schedule 40, an inch and a half schedule 40. Okay, all the same thing. Inch and a half goes into two, two goes two and a half, two and a half goes into three. Okay? Again, they're loose fits, but they go in pretty well. All right? If you're gonna put screws through it or pins or something like that, this would work great. Okay? And you got four. Alright. Last one, same thing, slightly different. This one's a five banger. Okay? Five banger. Uh, we'll start with the three inch. This is CL200. Then you've got your two and a half inch Schedule 40. Let's see if it'll go into Schedule 40. I think it, yeah, we already did this. Yeah, okay. So the two and a half will go into three inch, whether it's Thin Wall, which is the Class 200, or the Schedule 40 will go into either one. Then you've got your two inch CL200, or, or any of the two inch Schedule 40 will do this, going into two and a half. Then you got inch and a half SDR uh, 21, which is CL200. Uh, yeah, CL200, inch and a half, will go into the two inch. Again, Schedule 40 would go in here, but here's the kicker. Inch and a quarter, Schedule 40 will go into inch and a half uh, CL200. This is the, a little bit different. Good fit, very good fit, okay? So if you want to do five, ouch. If I do five, you can do it this way, all right? I'm gonna repeat. I know you can't see this on the camera, I'm sorry. That's kind of different. Oh, here we go, I'll hold it up, there. Maybe you can see that, okay? Inch and a quarter, schedule 40, inch and a half, CL200, or also thin wall, furniture grade will also do this. Two inch CL200, two and a half, uh, schedule 40, or the CL200 will be fine, and three inch CL200. Now, what's coming? Okay, the reason we did all this is because we found a company that will make the adapters for us that allow you to lock these in. Unfortunately, I don't know which combination they can make them for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send them all. <laughs> we're gonna send them all to them and say, which one of these can you come up with? Uh, I don't know yet. So. This is, I guess we'll call this part one, and when we get the other fittings back, we'll do a part two to show you how they work, okay? Hope you found this uh, useful. Sorry I go so fast. Uh, I got lots of things to do, and it's already very late in the day, and it took me a long time to get set up because we had technical difficulties. And yes to the person or the people who keep telling me to get a lapel mic, I know that's the technical difficulties. I had everything working. Um, and then it stopped working. So we have to start over on that. So we're doing the boom mic for now. Okay, I hope this was clear enough that you could hear me. Thanks for watching. This is Eric at Flex PVC. If you have any problems, questions, give us a call 888 782 3539. Go to our website, flexpvc.com. You can always send me an email. Top of the page, top right corner of the page is a blue circle with an envelope in it. That's our email. If you find a video like this useful, uh, like it, please. That really does help. And if you subscribe, then you'll get to see more and you'll get to be, well, if you subscribe and you click on the bell thing and it says uh, occasional or all, I recommend all because we don't put that many videos out. I usually do them together uh, and then I won't do anything for a long time. So uh, do the bell so that you'll be notified uh, when we do a upload of a video. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a great life. Bye.